The Gospel according to Matthew, chapters 10 through 15. Chapter 10. And he called unto him his twelve disciples, and gave them authority over unclean spirits, to cast them out, and to heal all manner of disease and all manner of sickness. Now the names of the twelve apostles are these. The first, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the publican, James the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaan, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent forth, and charged them, saying, Go not into any way of the Gentiles, and enter not into any city of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. Freely ye received, freely give. Get you no gold, nor silver, nor brass in your purses, no wallet for your journey, neither two coats, nor shoes, nor staff, for the laborer is worthy of his food. And to whatever city or village ye shall enter, search out who in it is worthy, and there abide until ye go forth. And as ye enter into the house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, as ye go forth out of that house or that city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents, and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils, and in their synagogues they will scourge you. Yea, and before governors and kings shall ye be brought for my sake, for a testimony to them and to the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, be not anxious how or what ye shall speak. For it shall be given you in that hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father that speaketh in you. And brother shall deliver up brother to death, and the ch father his child. And children shall raise up against parents, and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved." But when they persecute you in this city, flee into the next. For verily I say unto you, Ye shall not have gone through the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. A disciple is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his teacher, and the servant as his Lord. If ye have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more them of his household. Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in the darkness, speak ye in the light, and what ye hear in the ear, proclaim upon the housetops. And be not afraid of them that kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny, and not one of them shall fall on the ground without your father? But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Every one, therefore, who shall confess me before men, him will I also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Think not that I came to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. For I come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. 
And he that doth not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. He that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Chapter 11. And it came to pass, when Jesus had finished commanding his twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and preach in their cities. Now when John heard in the prison the works of the Christ, he sent by his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that cometh, or look we for another? And Jesus answered and said unto, hit unto them, Go and tell John the things which ye hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, the lepers cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have good tidings preached to them. And blessed is he, whosoever shall find no occasion of stumbling in me. And as they went their way, Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness to behold? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft raiment are in the king's houses. But wherefore went ye out to see a prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and much more than a prophet. This is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, who shall prepare the way before thee. Verily I say unto you, Among them that are born of woman, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Yet he that is but little in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and men of violence take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied unto John. And if ye are willing to receive it, this is Elijah that is to come. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the marketplaces, who call unto their fellows and say, We piped unto you, and ye did not dance. We wail, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He hath a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a gluttonous man and a wine bibble, a friend of publicans and sinners. And wisdom is justified by her works. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done, because they repented not. Woe unto thee, Chorazan! Woe unto thee, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works had been done in Tyre and Sidon, which were done in you, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, shalt thou be exalted unto heaven? Thou shalt go down unto Hades. For if the mighty works had been done in Sodom, which were done in thee, it would have remained unto this day. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. At that season, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou didst hide these things from the wise and understanding, and didst reveal them unto babes. Yea, Father, for so it was well-pleasing in thy sight. All things have been delivered unto me of, thy, of my Father. And no one knoweth the Son, save the Father. Neither doth anyone know the Father, save the Son. And he to whomsoever the Son willeth to reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Chapter 12 At that season, 
Jesus went on the Sabbath day through the grain fields, and his disciples were hungry and began to pluck ears and to eat. But the Pharisees, when they saw it, said unto him, Behold, thy disciples do that which is not lawful to do upon the Sabbath. But he said unto them, Have ye not read what David did when he was hungry, and they that were with him? How he entered into the house of God, and ate the showbread, which it was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them that were with him, but only for the priests? Or have ye not read in the law that on the Sabbath day the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath and are guiltless? But I say unto you that one greater than the temple is here. But if ye had known what this meaneth, I desire mercy and not sacrifice, ye would not have condemned the guiltless. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. And he departed thence and went into their synagogues. And behold, a man having a withered hand. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him? And he said unto them, What man shall there be of you that shall have one sheep? And if this fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, will he not lay hold on it and lift it out? How much then is a man of more value than a sheep? Wherefore, it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath day. Then said he to the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he stretched it forth, and it was restored whole as the other. But the Pharisees went out and took counsel against him, how they might destroy him. And Jesus, perceiving it, withdrew from thence, and many followed him. And he healed them all, and charged them that they should not make him known, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through Isaiah the prophet, saying, Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom my soul is well pleased, I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall declare judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not strive nor cry aloud, neither shall any one hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed shall he not break, a smoking flask shall he not quench, till he send forth judgment unto victory. And in his name shall the Gentiles hope. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a demon, blind and dumb, and he healed him, insomuch that the dumb man spoke and saw, and all the multitudes were amazed, and said, Can this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This man does not cast out demons, but by Beelzebub the prince of the demons. And knowing their thoughts, he said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan casteth out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then shall his kingdom stand? And if I by Beelzebub cast out demons, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. But if I by the Spirit of God cast out demons, then is the kingdom of God come upon you. Or how can one enter into the house of the strong man and spoil his good, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house? He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. Therefore I say unto you, Every sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Spirit shall not be forgiven. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever shall speak against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world nor in that which is to come. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt, and the tree is known by its fruit. Ye offspring of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. The good man out of his good treasure bringeth forth good things, and the evil man out of his evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. And I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by the words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Then certain of the scribes and Pharisees answered him, saying, Teacher, we would see a sign from you. But he answered and said unto them, an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of Jonah the prophet. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the whale, 
so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall stand up in the judgment with this generation, and shall condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and behold, a greater than Jonah is here. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation, and shall condemn it. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, a greater than Solomon is here. But the unclean spirit, when he is gone out of the man, passeth through waterless places, seeking rest, and finding it not. Then he saith, I will return into my house once I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits, more evil than himself. And they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man becometh worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this evil generation. While he was yet speaking in the multitudes, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, seeking to speak to him. And one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, seeking to, see, to speak to thee. But he answered and said unto them, That told him, Who is my mother, and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples, and said, Behold my mother and brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father who is in heaven, he is my brother and sister and mother. Chapter 13. On that day went Jesus out of the house, and sat by the seaside. And there were gathered unto him great multitudes, so that he entered into a boat, and sat. And all the multitudes stood on the beach. And he spake unto them many things in parables, saying, Behold, the sower went forth to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the birds came and devoured them. And others fell upon the rocky places, where they had not much earth, and straightway they sprang up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was risen, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they, they withered away. And others fell upon the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. And others fell upon the good ground, and yielded fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He that hath ears, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath, to him shall it be given, and he shall have abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that which he has. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because seeing they see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And unto them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing they shall hear, and shall in no wise understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall in no wise perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest hap haply they should perceive with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and should turn again, and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men desire to see the things which ye see, and saw them not, and to hear the things which ye hear, and heard them not. Hear then ye the parable of the sower. When any one heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth not, then cometh the evil one, and snatcheth away that which hath been sown in his heart. This is he that, that was sown by the wayside. And he that was sown upon the rocky places, this is he that heareth the word, and straightway with joy receiveth it. Yet hath not root in himself, but endureth for a while, and when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, straightway he stumbleth. And he that was sown among the thorns, this is he that heareth the word, and the care of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. 
And he that was sown upon the good ground, this is he that heareth the word, and understandeth it, who verily beareth fruit, and bringeth forth some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Another parable set he before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man that sowed good seed in the field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares also among the wheat and went away. But when the blade sprang up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. And the servants of the household came and said unto him, Sir, didst thou not sow good seed in thy field? Whence then hath it tares? And he said unto them, An enemy hath done this. And the servants said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he saith, Nay, lest hap haply, while ye gather up the tares, ye root up the wheat with them. Let both grow together unto the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather up first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Another parable set he before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is less than all seeds. But when it is grown, it is greater than the herbs and becometh a tree, so that the birds of the heaven come and lodge in the branches thereof. Another parable spoke he unto them, The kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, until it was all leavened. All these things spoke Jesus in parables unto the multitudes, and without a parable spoke he nothing unto them, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoke through the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things hidden from the foundation of the world. Then he left the multitudes and went into the house. And his disciples came unto him, saying, Explain unto us the parable of the tares of the field. And he answered, and said, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man, and the field is the world, and the good seed, these are the sons of the kingdom, and the tares are the sons of the evil one, and the enemy that sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are angels. As therefore the tares are gathered up and burned with fire, so shall it be in the end of the world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that cause stumbling, and them that do iniquity, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be the weeping and the gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. He that has ears, let him hear. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hidden in the field, which a man found and hid. And in his joy he goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth the field. Again the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a merchant, seeking good pearls. And having found one pearl of great price, he went and sold all that he had, and bought it. Again the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net, that was cast into the sea, and gathered of every kind, which, when it was filled, they drew up on the beach, and they sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but the bad they cast away. So shall it be in the, in the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the righteous, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be the weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have ye understood all these things? They said unto him, Yes. And he said unto them, Therefore every scribe who hath been made a disciple in the kingdom of the heaven is like unto a man that is a householder, who bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. And it came to pass, when Jesus had finished these parables, he departed thence. And coming into his own country, he taught them in their synagogue, insomuch that they were astonished and said, Whence hath this man this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary, and his brethren, James and Joseph, and Simeon and Judas, and his sisters? Are they not all with us? Whence then hath this man all these things? And they were offended in him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, 
save in his own country and in his own house. And they did not many mighty works because of their unbelief. Chapter 14. At that season, Herod the Tetrarch heard the report concerning Jesus and said unto his servants, This is John the Baptist. He is raised from the dead, and therefore do these powers work in him. For Herod had laid hold on John and bound him and put him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. For John said unto him, It is not lawful for thee to have her. And when he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude, because they counted him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday came, the daughter of Herodias danced in the midst and pleased Herod, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. And she, being put forward by her mother, said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. And the king was grieved, but for the sake of his oaths, and for them that sat at meat with him, he commanded it to be given. And he sent and beheaded John in the prison, and his head was brought on a platter and given to the damsel, and she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took up the corpse and buried him, and they went and told Jesus. Now when Jesus heard it, he withdrew from thence to a boat, to a de desert place, apart. And when the multitudes heard thereof, they followed him on foot from the cities. And he came forth and saw a great multitude, and he had compassion on them. And he healed their sick. And when even was come, the disciples came to him, saying, The place is desert, and the time is already past. Send the multitudes away, that they may go into the village and buy themselves food. But Jesus said unto them, They have no need to go away. Give ye them to eat. And they said unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fish. And he said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitudes to sit down on the grass, and he took the five loaves and two fish, and, looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke and gave the loaves to the disciples, and the disciples to the multitudes. And they all ate and were filled. And they took up that which remained over of the broken pieces twelve baskets full. And they that did eat were about five thousand men besides women and children. And straightway he constrained the disciples to enter into the boat and to go before him unto the other side, till he should send the multitudes away. And after he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into the mountain apart to pray. And when even was come, he was there alone. But the boat was now in the midst of the sea, distressed by the waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night he came unto them, walking on, upon the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spoke unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee upon the waters. And he said, Come. And Peter went down from the boat and walked upon the waters to come to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and took hold of him and saith unto him, O ye of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were gone up into the boat, the wind ceased. And they that were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Of a truth thou art the Son of God. And when they had crossed over, they came to the land unto Gennesaret. And when the men of that place knew him, they sent into all that region round about and brought unto him all that were sick. And they besought him that they might only touch the border of his garment. And as many as touched were made whole. Chapter 15. Then were come to Jesus from Jerusalem Pharisees and scribes, saying, Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. And he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God because of your tradition? For God said, Honor thy father and thy mother, and he that speaketh evil of father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, That wherein thou 
might as have been profited by me is given to God, he shall not honor his father. And ye have made void the word of God because of your tradition. Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This people honor me with thy lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain do they worship me, teaching as their doctrines the precepts of men. And he called to him the multitude, and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which enter into the mouth defileth the man, but that which proceedeth out of the mouth, this defileth the man. Then came the disciples, and saith unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father planted not shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They are blind guides, and if the blind guides the blind, both shall fall into a pit. And Peter answereth and said unto him, Declare unto us the parable. And he said, Are ye also even yet without understanding? Perceive ye not that whatsoever goeth into the mouth passeth into the belly, and is cast out into the draught? But the things which proceed out of the mouth come forth out of the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart come forth evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witnesses, railings. These are the things which defile the man. But to eat with unwashed hands defileth not the man. And Jesus went out thence and withdrew into the parts of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanish woman came out from those borders and cried, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a demon. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and cast it to the dogs. But she said, Yea, Lord, for even the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it done unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was healed from that hour. And Jesus departed thence and came nigh unto the Sea of Galilee. And he went up into the mountain and sat there. And there came unto him great multitudes, having with them the lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others. And they cast them down at his feet, and he healed them. Insomuch the multitude wondered when they saw the dumb speaking, the maimed whole, and the lame walking, and the blind seeing, and they glorified the God of Israel. And Jesus called unto him his disciples and said, I have compassion on the multitude, because they continue with me now three days and have nothing to eat, and I would not send them away fasting, lest haply they faint on the way. And the disciples say unto him, when should we have so many loaves in the desert place as to fill so great a multitude? And Jesus said unto them, How many loaves have ye? And they said, Seven, and a few small fish. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and the fish, and he gave thanks and break and gave to the disciples, and the disciples gave to the multitudes. And they all ate and were filled. And he took up that which remained, over the broken pieces, seven baskets full. And they that did eat were four thousand men, besides women and children. And he sent away the multitudes, and entered into the boat, and came into the borders of Magadan.